scared of the night Always wanting the fright of your life Oh baby, can't you see the monster screamed in your dreams? While you're scared of sleep at night Oh, to tell you that we're in where of your life You may be just a thief, but must be a So here we are guys, back at Tilstone House, here in Tarpley, Nanwich. Wow, such a fantastic building this is. And it was a wedding venue. So let's go and uh, check this out. And look at this uh, sort of gazebo around here. I may have a closer look at this little fountain here on the front. Wow. Amazing. Now this part wasn't open last time, so clearly a sign of vandals have brought in there. The sink. Looks like a where they would have done some catering. Let me see some cakes there. So yeah, what we're gonna do, show you around the outside of this place. First of all, this sort of outer house sort of thing, with all the fire logs already cut. Lawn mower there. By the looks of it, almost looks like a bit of conservatory. Clearly, somebody's been trying to get in. On here. Such a magical place. Look at this uh, little gazebo out here. Wooden gazebo. Round to the back. No? Wow. Look at these outdoor lights. And the towers as well. Like you've got a tower here. And a tower to the other side. Absolutely amazing. Oh, look at this uh, binary all in here. Just coming round there to the back here to these uh, plant pots. Wow, balcony. Oh. There's a the sort of web pond fountain area. These plant pots look rather cool, don't they? Almost like a weaved basket sort of look. And just round here is the main front door. And again, look at these outdoor lights. Truly amazing. Look at that woodwork on there. Shed shed. Yeah, definitely a little chill out spot in the garden. And as we're coming away here, we can see where the old pool once was. So you see steps there coming down. Obviously, 
you can see where it's obviously getting slightly a little bit deeper towards the end not too much of a deep pool but decent size and there's uh we'll come away from here further back because like literally you will see how massive this uh field is as you can see the house from here now so yeah we've got some uh, steps here coming down from the house We'll check the uh, little park thing out first. You can see there the children. All three, we've got this uh, sort of chapel sort of thing. Don't know what you'd call it. It's very dumb like. And this uh, so I call them bar it family still around. It's facing the house. We've got a, a swing which is unfortunately broken closer to the house. And nearby it. We've got this uh, little pond. I think that was through here. We've got a uh, Sort of tennis area, and it's still got the net up, which is pretty cool. Wow! So we've just seen around the yard and everything. We're going to head in now and take you around to see what's in there and we're in guys Doors have been damaged. Wow. Still, it looks like it's been sealed up. Oh, that was the main front door. It's there as well. Chandelier. Coming through into this room. Look at these. Such an amazing place. It's just a shame maybe they're letting it go to ruin like this. I mean, look, even like nature's glowing on the inside with all this mold. Look at that fireplace. Wow. All the handcraft in have done on the woodwork here. This sort of marble surrounding. Beautiful. These cairns look nice as well. Wow. So this, this bit here, would have been part of the tower. As you'll see as we go up on the floors. Uh, the, this corner part is quite the same. Come back here. We've got the toilets. In fact, that wardrobe's been totally destroyed. The sink as well. Look at 
the uh, staircase there. Wow. The uh, woodwork to it. Magnificent. this room, which is very red, with all these chandeliers that are magnificent, wow, magnificent fireplaces in here, sure, the curtains again as well, absolutely lovely, almost seems like a Reception mess, or I thought to believe, and it's the reception part. Again, just another stunning fireplace. Wow! And then we've got this here. Uh, are you placed down here? Amazing guys. This uh, wooden border going across. But yeah, why I would think it was the reception is because you got a desk here. I'm running across. So it still looks really nice too. Uh, go behind. Wow. Nice little wooden chair. Probably where they did all the buttons and stuff. Check out these rooms. So yeah, we've got some of the all like catalogues here. As you can see. cooking books there. Obviously, as you can neck out here guys, it's been on a, quite a bit of fire damage. At least of London, that says. Um, I'm just trying to clear this. And that one's the Atlas of the World. Small keys. And malt. Loads of uh, extra bulbs. I know what that one can. You know, let us know in the comments. It's a uh, up in here. It's like a bit of a uh, laundry room. And off all the cleaning products and washers and dryers scattered around. Wow. It's tight. It's and it, uh, the, Fruit looks 3D like it as well, sticking out of the wall. Wow, and these extra fridges, freezers. Okay. We've got a kitchen. Again, more like fridge freezer areas there to the side. We've got this uh, table to the centre. Wow. And the 3D fruit. Amazing, that. This definitely looks like it's uh, endured some damage since the last time I've I saw it. There's a cooker there, very good cooker. These beams up here, chandelier. Look at this chair, guys. This chair I spot last time, and absolutely. 
But yeah, this part here now leads out into this bar. Still there. It's proper walking up the floor. Looks like the bar's leaning back on itself as well. Look at these sorts of bay mats as well. Little stone house. Wow, it's quite a nice uh, piece of art. Salt shaker. Some glass jugs there. We've got another art. Wow. Yeah. All these classes left as well. It's like I'm coming through here now. And this is where all the furniture is. Show you around. All this furniture. It's just left. I've got one of these uh, single chairs that we saw in the uh, hall out there. Wow. True, yeah, it's unbelievable how much stuff we've just left here. It's got to waste. And it's either this is going to rot away from the, the amount of decay. Like you can see on this poor picture here or it's going to be a case as said like here or like here where vandals have destroyed it which both ways very sad these uh Head posts almost looks like a part of a four post bed. Right, yeah, the mold on some of this stuff has got really bad. Big mirror just at the back. This is uh, another room that they keep the furniture in, mostly all the chairs. As you can see, there's one of them. And there's uh, a double one back here as well. We didn't manage to get this close to actually seeing it last time, in fairness. It looks like somebody's been playing magical chairs, I guess, we could say. How magnificent is that? That is beautiful. It's red little chair, it looks pretty cool. Shame to see these uh, chandeliers broken though as well. Wow, look at these pink cushions. And look at uh, this uh, fireplace here. And all the uh, features to it though. It's definitely all been hand carved. So. So I'm going to check up here. Wow, look 
these uh, this pattern in the uh, window. It's come through into here. And then definitely somebody's been really vandalised in this place, guys. Such a shame to see. Here we've got the bathroom, shower to the side. And we've got a bath there as well. Yeah, this one's still shut off. Oh yeah, these both had uh, names for each of the suites as well. Uh, so you've got obviously Beeston and then the Bunbury. There's a few mattresses in here. Kent too. It's like part of the tower area. And obviously into the bathroom. Blue bath tub. The sink there. Wow. So going down into the basement now guys and uh right there on the chairs down here seems a bit of a storing that so I'll dig it out yeah there's a map of the world The glasses. Looks like where they would have rigged the kegs up here. Yeah, you can see the Tulstone House there, the tower. Oh, some tiling there. This glass looks amazing. Look at pattern on it. Just a bit of a server to the side there to run the internet, Wi-Fi around the place. These doors as well, proper cellar doors. Wow. Proper wine cellar this. And all the racks. I wonder what we've gone through there. Going back here. It almost looks like uh, it would have been the old chute back there. So now we're going up these uh, stairs on this side. Wow. Mirror. It's a lovely mirror that. Take a beer. Yeah, and look at the damage to this. Very badly fire damaged. What's the calculator about? Here and shower. <laughs> wow. Yeah, 
And so we've just come down the stairs on this floor. Wow. Some pictures here. All the bedding. Even more pictures on the side. Almost like a little sink. Mushroom, some sort of like pink stained glass in that back there. So bring the torch down, you can just about see through here. Wow, it's very wet this floor. So I'm just watching me room, putting the feet. Wow, look at that mirror. These mirrors are beautiful. And so this is the room. Wow. Look at the gold legs on that bathtub. Amazing. Oh, somebody's built a little bridge to go over now instead of doing the tricky way even though I don't know about that <laughs> you'd have to be quick probably wow oh that looks it looks nice actually with the sort of burnt effect on the uh, chandelier Some more people have joined us. So these are all different uh, rooms here as well. They all had different names on the doors. I think they must have uh, taken off. Look at that wardrobe. This box, almost like a tissue box. Wow, bathroom. the tower and then we'll unlock the backyard and the balcony so there you have it guys uh, Tilstone House here in Tarpley uh, Nanwich uh, thank you for coming along yet again don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for more content we'll see you on the next one Peace out guys.